What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk to you about SoundHound. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what's been coming out from the company itself, and just go over the very obvious manipulation that is surrounding SoundHound. Before I get into any of that, make sure you just hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So SoundHound, they just put out news. And SoundHound is very much a momentum stock. I've talked on this in the past on how it's a hybrid. So it's an AI stock, squeeze stock, and a momentum play so normally whenever a stock such as that puts out news it goes up and so roughly 15 minutes ago this news came out so soundhound ai to participate in investor events in september so two different events september the 9th and 11th like i said again this would really propel soundhound higher but it is up only 0.41% and very little volume after hours so that is very messed up even today itself Nvidia did unveil their earnings and a lot of their key metrics were absolutely on point. So they made a shit ton of money, pardon my French. But in the past, Nvidia and Soundhound trade kind of similarly. So this should have really propelled Soundhound higher. Even aside from that though, you did have GDP and initial jobless claims coming out better than anticipated today. So showing the economy is relatively strong and this is instantly being correlated with interest rate cuts. And so interest rate cuts for the September 18th meeting, right now there's a good consensus of a 25 basis point cut that is phenomenal for growth stocks. So everything that I'm bringing up should have really propelled Soundhound significantly higher alongside much of the other growth stocks in the broader market. But what do you get? You get Soundhound Red, a big FU from Wall Street. And funny enough, yesterday there was news as well and they announced a partnership. So you did see, rightfully so, Soundhound going up slightly to roughly kind of the high, similarly from today, around 505. You do see a lot of good buying that happened right here. So based on the bid, the ask and the selling price, everything that shows as a ask was a buy. So you saw a good amount of buying because of that news. And then at the drop of a hat, it just sells off. So it goes from roughly around $5 to a low of 479. So shorts as well as institutions were just bringing it down. So there is a lot of signs of manipulation and this is all of the transactions that did cause it to go down uh, regrettably yesterday. So there's just a overwhelming amount of manipulation and as what this does show fails to deliver is at 99 so there is a lot of fails to deliver meaning naked shorting that is happening behind the scenes so this stock like i said i think a lot of people generally do like where it is moving towards it's given a lot of good operational updates the fact that they have basically no debt and a lot of good future anticipated growth coming from analysts but once again, uh, typically with lower volume, shorts are the ones in control. So even today, shorts were able to return 436,000 shares net and still result in Soundhound to be uh, red. Um, so they definitely did counter all that positive momentum in the broader market. 24.42% of the free floats being shorted works out to be 77.3 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of borrow average is 10.88%, utilization 97.88, and then short score, so the higher the number, the higher the likelihood of a squeeze happening is 77.63%. And shorts, you can kind of tell, have been lingering a while now. So recently it was at a all-time high of 27.34%. Still, given the circumstances in the broader market and the optimism for the foreseeable future, it should not be this shorted. That's just my own opinion. You guys believe and do what you see fit. Moving on to other data. So looking at the options, 558,000 in calls being done today, 742,000 in puts. And majority of those puts were actually between 230 and 235. So definitely not the best. 53% of all the options being done today were bearish, anticipating more of a further breakdown. Of the call options that are being purchased, you do see a consensus for it to be around that 550. On the flip side, you see a anticipation for on the bears for it to be sub $5. So in my opinion, the options activity is signaling a little bit more upside versus down based on the sentiment. Like I said, for it to be a momentum play, it does need a lot more institutions to pay attention to it. So over this last uh, several weeks, it's been somewhat 
lagging. And so I think that is something that definitely does need to change. When this does go up, you see institutions really just bending over backwards, scrambling over each other just to buy. So still, it's an unfortunate scenario. Like I said, uh, SoundHound does have a lot of good future anticipated growth, and that is resembling based on just right here. So the future estimated earnings, just the year over year growth, like even this upcoming earnings, 73.56% for year over year revenue growth, 101%, 126, 126, 76. So a lot of good growth is anticipated, but Wall Street just wants to fuck around and uh, mess with this company. Once again, Paul, uh, apologies on my French, but Right now, with it closing at $4.84, it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So when it comes to SoundHound, it's always had very wide FIB levels, so just anticipate a lot of volatility in the foreseeable future. But 412 is going to be that next strong support, and then 512 is going to be that next strong resistance slash target. And it has bounced off of this general pivot point for the last two days as I did bring up so it kind of bounced off of here and as well here so just kind of keep that in mind so watch for that to be the next target over the next several trading days and then aside from that on the actual chart itself it's kind of just stuck in limbo so it is still lower percentile of the boiling band above luckily enough the key moving averages so both the 50 and 100 day moving averages looking at stochastic you do see it did reset quite a lot so it is at 39 so arguably considered oversold but you do see a bearish deviation over the last several trading days as well you've seen number of retail investors getting out with exception of today so it looks like they did and we're buying the dip today so if you're part of that group give yourself a shadow in the comments below and potentially what price did you buy it at did you get in at the lows or did you buy it at that five dollar or, or higher around that range but nonetheless i just wanted to go over some of the current data points latest updates and just a lot of the instances of clear manipulation happening with SoundHound. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. One final thing I just want to share with you, take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it. They give you five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. So this is a kick-ass deal. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.